Hello everybody. Um, it is September 19th of 2013 and yeah, I usually show you guys the time and the date, sometimes the weather. But, um, I don't know, it's like a thingy, a habit that I've developed dealing, but, um, I was just on my own YouTube channel looking, perusing through some videos, um, to send to my friend Adam, because he likes to watch my videos, and his computer isn't working so hot, so, um, it helps for him if I send him the link to his phone via, like, Facebook mobile and Facebook Messenger and those types of things. So, I, he and I, our favorite holiday, like, we love Christmas and Christmas music, so I was just sending him, started sending him some of those videos of, like, Christmas last year and my tree and things like that, and then, um, I had remembered that he liked this one video I posted not that long ago, a week, a couple days ago, a week ago, um, of some wicked weather we were having, which got me to thinking he likes storms, um, that triggered a thought. He likes storms. So then I started, during the, um, hello, the whole hurricane business, I, I, I've made videos, I vlogged, I tracked, I, I did my thing. So I started watching some of the Hurricane Sandy videos that I have made and boy has it brought back memories and I was watching one of the videos that I had taken before things got bad and then I looked at the date and it was October 29th. And that's like next month is October, obviously. I don't need to teach you that. But it's just like, oh dear Lord, if we were to have that again, something like that, or worse, Lord, uh, Lordy, Lordy, Lord knows <laughs> what I would do. Because here I am watching the videos. And I'm filming outside, like, you know, my windows, like, in my house filming out, out, the outside, I'm not outside filming. So, um, and you just see it's kind of some breezes, a little windy, maybe a little drizzle, and then you can kind of see it, like, it gets worse, and then there's a video where mom's like, you know, after 3 o'clock, I have to get out of my bedroom, because we know we're the neighborhood that we live in. There's a lot of old trees, and I have really old ones next to um, the middle window in my room, and God forbid I'm in my room, and I... So she's like warning me all about this, you know, you can hear like the updates and things on the radio and the TV in the background. Um, there's videos where I'm talking to Squeaky, like you're all wide-eyed and buggy and bushy tailed and like, you look like something crazy about to happen, and then, then you look like you're about to take a nap, I'm like, you have no idea, do you, it's coming. So, I'm um, just watching all this, and then I'm like, there's a video where I'm filming, and my dad's right in this chair next to me, and he's on his laptop, like, while he's doing it at work, and I'm filming how he all the candles and everything, and then you see my mom's taking a chicken out of the oven, and she's, like, making dinner early. I, okay, so, like, we're watching the TV, we're trying to keep track of everything, um, we're doing the best that we can with what we have. Little do we know that we were going to lose power. Um, I remember trying to eat my lunch. I was trying to eat some rice. I was trying to eat a chicken salad a sandwich. And taking teeny bites. So I was so nauseous. My nerves were like through the roof. And what made it worse is the lights started flickering. So I'm like sitting on a chair, I'm sitting on the floor, I'm trying to like find a spot, I'm trying to like stay calm, I was talking to a friend named Justin on Facebook, I'm trying to keep track of things through social media, and then lo and behold, the power goes out. But I was very smart, I'm going to back it up a minute, I was very smart because when my mother told me that we need to either be like in the basement or like in the middle of the house, like find it. We we need to find our safety zone, our safe spot. 
Um, she at the time wasn't sure where it would eventually all be, but what I did was I took a big old contubbleware, like container, like a big one for storage. I put my pillow in there, I put a blanket in there, I put some chapstick in there, I put Scotty McCreary CD in there, I put my headphones in there, I put a book in there, I put some stuffed animals in there, all my cons, like comfort creature things that I would need um, immediately uh, in any sort of situation. <laughs> um, I just put them all and I'm walking around with my bin like kind of like a homeless person, kind of like, where do I go? So I plopped myself in the living room and that's where the three of us ultimately ended up staying all night long. So I was very smart to do that because what happened was <laughs> my anxiety was like, woohoo. I mean, the power goes out, so I start like really losing it. You know, there's these noises aside from the wicked winds and the rain. Because it's scary in the dark because you can't see stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't see shit. So it's like, you don't know what the frick's going on. And that makes it all the more scary is the unknown. All you hear is these bizarre, crackle, windy, blowy noises. And this fire anything that won't shut up. Then the police are knocking on your door and they're trying to find someone's house and it's like, it's not us. And I'm just like freaking out that the cats couldn't get out because everyone's all like, Ooh. so um, it's just gone crazy. And this is like TMI, but I got sick. That's how freaking scared I was. So, um, I was sitting on the floor, I remember exactly where I was, and then my mom's like, just try to like, calm down, like not focus so much on it, she's like, do you have any music to distract yourself, all this stuff, meanwhile, this is my device, okay, but my dad, it, when he's like, power goes out, phones go off, because you need to save your battery, so, I'm very blessed to have a mother, who decided to keep my CD player, you know, like a Discman portable CD player from middle school. Um, and we, she got that. I had my headphones. We put in Sky Mercury Christmas CD, Holly Jolly Christmas was playing in my ears. And I was sucking on a crazy pop. And I was waiting, trying to, like, woohoo. Um, but my mom's part of this group on Facebook for our town. It's like the moms of, you know, our town. Well, you know, the name of our sleep right here. So before, you know, all the, all the everything went black. Um, before that happened, uh, she was following things and everyone's like in this neighborhood and everyone said they were sleeping in the basement, but we spent the night most of the night until like 3 whatever in the morning and then we did go upstairs at least my dad stayed downstairs my mom and I went upstairs in her bed I believe oh my god it was so cold I wish I had like when I had my like hormonal issues I was giving me hot flashes I wish it was during that time because it was so cold in this house you would not believe it but I, again, I cannot be more thankful and more grateful for the parents that I have because they really, like, stepped up to the plate. Like, my dad, like, we had, um, we had a gas stove. So we had, like, water boiling constantly on all four burners just to get humidity and moisture and, like, heat up the house. Um, whenever we could spare uh, a little electricity, um, from the generator, we have one lamp and it on always um, in this kitchen, and there was a candle I had lit on this table. So he made sure that this house was as warm as it could be, and that we had some form of light, so I wasn't completely in the dark. And whenever um, we could either watch like a DVD off of a laptop or the TV. Um, we did, you know, any chance I could charge up something and then like any saneness, 
sanity that could be brought. You know, they did the best they could, and I felt like out of this whole neighborhood, we probably had the warmest house and the brightest house, because, like, you go anywhere if you even could, and you'd come back into this neighborhood on our street. Like, we had a light in the window. You saw a light. I mean, they honestly did the best they could, and, um, but who knew? That on October 29th, at that night when the power went out, that I would be out of power, we'd be out of power in this house, in this neighborhood, for two solid weeks. I had some friends over, and we were talking about this, and they're like, oh, we didn't have power for like eight days, or like a couple of days, and then and we're like two weeks, and they almost all fell out of their chair. They couldn't believe it. So, but I was very fortunate, um, and what made things tricky though was my grandmother was on oxygen. So even like the police, they were bringing gas to my grandparents' house, keep their generator going, but we were trying to get them into Fellowship Village just for a little while so my grandmother could have uh, her oxygen and when we went over there they had some power but while we were still there because I was visiting with everybody um they got full power and with that let me tell you so this the retire because obviously you know it goes level of priority so like hospitals and nursing homes they're going to be the first right so then that little part of town um started getting power back so we're at this hotel and my mom's like, get in line to book a room, but there's a wait list. First come, first serve, put your name down. So we're waiting, and while we're waiting, my mom went to go get gas. She had an opportunity. She's like, I'll wait 10 minutes. I'll come back. Then I get a call saying, because there's another hotel. It's right across from Fellowship. She's like, I got, I got everyone a room there. Um, take your name off the list. Somebody else could have it. Like, cancel that. So for a couple of days, and I did, you know, vlog and film all this, I got to be in a hotel room, um, which, and luckily they were able to, I was able to eat my, live off of gluten-free macaroni and cheese, because I could just cook it in the microwave, and I'd like to thank my friend Chardonnay, <laughs> um, and just, you know, being able to just be around people and, 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 and light and to have a TV and some normalcy even though I'd be up all night I'm not able to sleep you know putting YouTube videos together um on my laptop and you know my dad he'd be out like till two plus in the morning running all the cars back and forth to fill up the gas and luckily the only good thing that I can say about my car because it's from 2005 is you can siphon gas out of it so that car got used a lot during the hurricane because the new cars, they have special safety features to where you can't siphon gas out of them. So um, that's the only thing that I like about my car. And if we get rid of it anytime soon, there's a hurricane, I'll be damned. <clears throat> I'm like, why did I want to get rid of you? You saved my life. Oh, my God. So, but no, um, it's just like watching those videos and it's just like bringing back all this emotion and it's just like I can't believe like <laughs> that ever happened I mean it's just oh, t -t -t. I, I mean I don't so um I, I was kind of wanted to talk about it but me I, oh my gosh like I my mom and I we still have post-traumatic stress disorder from it um def Definitely was really bad because we could only stay, like it got to the point where at the hotel they kind of like had people coming in. I don't know who the heck would want to come in to this aftermath, but there were people coming and it was kind of like each day before when you had to check out, that was when you could check to see if you could check in again, so kind of our time was allotted. But luckily for my brother and his wife and his kids, they got their power back. Um, so, you know, it's like by the time they would have been kicked out, like, luckily they could go home. Because um, during all this madness, they were in Florida, and they stayed on a little longer. They were all in Disney, and were like, just, you don't want to come back. Just stay there. But for whatever reason, they wanted to come home. We had them here the first night in the dark, because they, they, they were not prepared at all. Um, 
So, you know, we had that. We brought, we took Suzanne in. Um, and um, my aunt and uncle and my cousin, uh, they, they resided at, at their home. They didn't, they, I think, came maybe for dinner a couple of times. Um, but <laughs> I'm telling you, it's crazy. Like, d what normally would take five minutes to get somewhere, it would take 20. And my mom, she and my grandparents and everything, like, the phone not, isn't always working, so you have to physically drive somewhere to check up on someone or see if they're okay. And, like I said, it would normally take five minutes or less. It would take 20 minutes or more with all the trees down and the detours. And, of course, my grandma has to fall, you know, and they got to go get her checked out. And then one morning, I'm, like, half asleep, half awake, and I'm, like, what? Take you to the emergency room? I'm like, what now, Grandma? Like, Grandma was having a lot of problems. And, um, luckily, they didn't have to do that. But it's just like, you know, to communicate with everybody, you kind of, like, drive everywhere. And it took so long, and my mom would be, like, exhausted, running around. And I ultimately, um... I ended up getting sick. It was not fun at all. I had, like, no voice. <laughs> um, so, I had a wicked sore throat. It sucked. Ooh, big time. And, and I got, like, bronchitis, I think. I don't know. I was sick forever. It, it was not enjoyable on top of that. But, so, what I was trying to get at is, um, we would come home, and the minute, like, because you pull into this dark, dark, dark drive no, no neighborhood, right? And then you come into our house, you'd come, as soon as we pull in the driveway, I would start bawling my eyes out, shaking, I couldn't speak, I was just like a wreck. And I'd be sitting, we'd be sitting here at this table, and I'd just be like, like a hot, hot mess, I have to write my thoughts down, because that night, it kept replaying in my mind, and any time a wind would blow or there was a slight noise, and just being in the dark, you know, it, it wasn't good. Like every night, when, because we could go out in the daytime and hang out at the nursing home, you know, and, and just hang out with my grandma. We could hang out at the hotel in the daytime, so we could go where there was power and and things, but at night when we had to come home, I would lose it every night. And, um, and, and, and it was just crazy. I mean, you really could not get anywhere. I mean, if it wasn't for this neighborhood rallying together, using whatever chainsaws or anything that they have to remove some of the trees from the roads, we'd be like legit stuck here, let me tell you. And, um, I'm trying to remember my dad had to take care of his cat at the time, too. I don't know. I remember, um, I think if I remember correctly, as far as the family goes, my, it was, I think it was a tie, like, my aunt and my brother, like, they kind of came in first to who got power back, and then my dad got power back, and then my grandmother got power back, and this house, no power. I have a photo, I, did, I doubt I deleted it, but, um, I have a photo on my phone. Oh, the video did, oh, hello. Because they were, like, um, working on stuff, and, you know, you're just, like, wondering when are we going to get power so here's a photo this is right at the bottom of my driveway there's men working on the power lines i remember we came home and i saw this and i thought i was like it was like a dream i'm like is this really happening right now like are you are you kidding me? Is this a real like pinch me moment? And we're in the dark and we're just hanging out. We're doing the best that we can. We get a call from our neighbor 
And they're like, do you have power? Because we think our power is coming back on. Lo and behold, when those lights came on, it was like, oh, thank goodness. Like, I couldn't have been more happy, more thrilled, but I, I, I never thought I'd live to see this day. Seriously, like, no. <laughs> um, I, I, I just couldn't believe it, you know? And, um... We've had like other kind of storms that were supposed to be hurricanes, but they weren't. And it's kind of funny because I thought I was going to be going away to school in Florida and I was hoping to be going away. And I'm like following them on Facebook and I'm like, this weekend I could be at Beacon College, you know, playing mini golf, going, watching a movie and going to like a phone party and doing all these cool things on campus. But meanwhile, we're up here in New Jersey where they're saying, a hurricane could happen. It's like we had all the hot mess in Florida. Like, they, I don't think they had anything bad, or at least nothing that we needed to be worried about. It was that one year that one hurricane we had a house on Sanibel Island. Woo! That was, uh, we were spared there too. In both cases of hurricanes, like, obviously it's going to be more damage, I think. Like, in Florida, we have more damage on that house than this house. But still, all in all, compared to everybody else, we we lucked out big time. Just like for the for Sandy, the biggest thing for us really was just not having power for two weeks, not being able to eat things how I like to. Like I like to use a toaster oven, and we couldn't. It's like when we try to make shift something on the stove, and it, it just like no, didn't work so good. And, um, so, like, you know, like, those LED lights, they're very bright. Like, we use all those lanterns and flashlights. And to this day, when I see that kind of a light, I get extremely paranoid because automatically my mind flashes back to that. And some people, like, some of my friends or some people, like, actually, some people say... Oh, it's going to be worse this year. But I think they say that all the time every year. Like, Chad's like, oh, it's going to be worse or whatever. And then Dan, I think, jokingly was like, oh, it's going to be worse. Like, And he was kind of joking, like, excitedly about it because he missed it. He was in Tennessee, and I'm trying to explain to him, like, how bad it is. So, and I said, don't say that. <laughs> I'm like, what, you want me to end up in the insane asylum in a padded room? I'm like, don't go there. Mm -mm. So, um, I just, you know, it's like, or it's only going to be fall soon, and we're in September, and then, like I said earlier, it comes October. Actually, our town, our neighborhood, I don't know how all of New Jersey was affected, but for two years, we didn't have a Halloween. One year, we were down for Halloween in Disney World, and at home, we had a freak snowstorm. Halloween got canceled, and because of Sandy, Halloween got canceled. So let's hope for no more hurricanes and that the kids can have Halloween this year. So this is my story. Um, I might do another one interviewing my mom and her perspective on it. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And keep it quirky.